You took this film to, to Comic Con, which I guess is the yeah. perfect yeah. place to, to take it. So how was the reaction? It oh was my God. amazing. It was it was so so amazing. It was an experience on its own. We mm. saw the film for the first time in its entirety with the the fans of Scott Pilgrim and that just was so overwhelming that we got to sit there together as a cast and kind of experience it for the first time in that environment, you know, because you're there with people who are really passionate about the project and the source material and, and fans of Edgar and they just wanted they wanted to to they wanted it to be good and they were and it was. It was the reception was was mm -hmm. amazing. They loved it. They laughed at all the right parts, clapped and just it was it was an overwhelming experience. It was the it was best great. possible way, to, best see way to see the movie. I mean, we left on just a total high after yeah. Comic-Con. It was just like, it was so cool just to have, I mean, and seeing people dressed up as the characters and just like feeling that kind of enthusiasm was just amazing. It's unlike anything I've ever felt before. It was really cool. Yeah. It was like a rock concert. Oh, wow. <laughs> it really we, were, was. we were rock stars. Yeah. And then Metra came out and played at the end oh, of the screening, yeah. too. So it really did turn into a rock yeah, concert, it actually. Awesome. It literally was. Yeah, it really yeah. <laughs> I just want to kind of relate to that. Edgar's talked about He's kind of compared it to a musical in a way. Mm -hmm. yeah. So because you guys do like amazing fight scenes, was it a bit? did it feel a bit like that, having to choreograph everything and be very specific? Yeah. I mean, it was a lot like dance choreography. Yeah. I mean, there were counts of like five, six, seven, eight as mm. we were fighting. So in a sense, <laughs> it was like doing a musical. But just a lot, you know, tougher. Yeah, I guess so, right? <laughs> like in the in the sort of kick-ass way. <laughs> um, but it was, yeah. I mean, for me, like, I I grew up dancing, so I think that helped a lot with like at least memorizing the choreography and stuff because it really was like learning a dance. Yeah. How how good did you guys get with um, your weapons, respectively? Because you had a giant hammer and yeah. then you had knives. So uh, how good were you basically with those? Pretty good. I think yeah. we got. It got to the point where we were both comfortable with yeah. our weapons, and I think that was mo was most important. Is that we weren't we didn't feel like we were holding foreign mm -hmm. objects in our hands, and 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 you know from that you know being able to find the comfort with the weapons, being one <laughs> with your weapon <laughs> was really important and um, key to us being able to sort of deliver the choreography, and that with the help with of the amazing stunt team, it, we just I hope delivered an amazing fight that you will all love. <laughs> cool, I, I was wondering um, if you could be any other character that you don't play in this film, who would you pick, basically, in the Scott Pilgrim universe? That's in the film? Yeah. I would pick Knives. Really? Yeah, because it's just such a fun part, and, and she gets to, like, express so many different emotions. It's probably, like, you know, the opposite spectrum of Ramona, because Ramona's <laughs> so kind of, like, you know, can, you know, like, holds everything inside so much. Uh, so it'd be great to kind of just play the opposite character and, and go for something like that. Yeah, mm. I I would choose Kim Pine because, yeah. you know, I think it's really cool that she's, like, a girl drummer and she's just kind of sitting there. She observes everything and she's just... She doesn't, doesn't really care. <laughs> um, and I think that's just cool because, you know, I guess it's sort of in a way opposite of Knives, too, because she's just so involved with everything. that And Kim is... Just, sort of, she sits back and kind of just takes it in. I think that'd be nice to kind of go that way. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cool. Is it true you filmed two separate endings as well? So there is, do you reckon we'll see the, the other on the DVD? I'm or? sure, I yeah. I hope so, I'm because sure I think be. it was a cool kind of Yeah. I'm, I'm, to... I'm sure Edgar will have that on, on yeah. the DVD. I can't imagine it not being so. Mm. You'll get to see them both, yeah. I, I think. <laughs> was Because I think the comic wasn't out yet when you were making yeah. it, so you didn't know the ending to the comic. Until, yeah, well, yeah. I mean, even right go, going right into shooting, Brian hadn't even released the fifth book mm -hmm. yet, and he was still, you know, going through that, and then, it, and then I think it was during production we got to read that, and then the sixth book just came out. Yeah. yeah. So that was really cool. Yeah, I mean, I think initially they sort of were really happy with the idea that the, the film and the, and the books might have a completely different ending and that mm -hmm. that was going to be okay and we'd kind of just go our, our separate ways. But I think when the book was done and it had this really, you know, there was the closure, you know, in this in this specific way, I think that everyone just sort of felt like it would be best if if the movie kind of, you know, came to that same conclusion. Okay, cool.